Over the weekend, I had the chance to visit the Pokemon Center Tohoku, which is up north, and I got an exclusive Tohoku clear file, and this was actually from uh, kind of like a raffle because I spent a certain amount of money, I got to do it, and this was one of the prizes, so they didn't have much Tohoku exclusive merch, so I was really excited to get this, and these are the three Pokemon that represent the Tohoku Center. I guess Pikachu represents all of them. But these two guys, Chespin and I don't know his name, but there they are. Now this isn't Pokemon Center exclusive, but it is a Tohoku regional strap and it is Mijumaru. I don't know his name in English. And it is Pokemon regional and Zunda Mochi. Zunda is a type of bean and they usually put out mochi. It's really good. So there is a little Zunda Mochi. And look at the bowl. It's supposed to look like a Pokeball. I also won these little stickers. They say Tohoku, but it's just a generic Pikachu. The rest of the merch I got was not exclusive at all, but I think we can take a look because they're cute. I decided to start collecting Monkore, or Monster Collection, because toy photography is something that I've always been interested in, and these are perfect for them. So I have a Sylveon, an Eevee. They didn't have a really good selection, so I just got the few that I really liked. I got this little angry Pikachu, or attacking Pikachu, I guess, and a standard Pikachu. These were really reasonably priced. They were 300 yen each, which is about 3 US dollars. Now this is for my friend who also does toy photography. I ended up not getting this for myself. I may go back and get it because it's really cute. It's a set of Pikachus and I think this was 2,000 yen, which is about 20 US dollars. And look at the little ditto chew! And then I got a bunch of lime boxes and this is a summer themed one. It's acrylic key holder collection and then here are all the designs. I am in love with these. These were 500 yen each I want to say, 5 US dollars. I got one of these, I think this one was a little more, 700 yen maybe or 600 yen and it's Pikachu wearing one of the Mega Poncho, Mega Pokemon Ponchos and then these are trainers I believe from Sazanami Town and I've said this in many videos, but I am a first generation Pokemon player and I don't know too much after that, but I thought these were too cute to pass up on. So I'm going to do some studying and we can open these and see who's who. Speaking of generation one, I got these, they're just little badges and honestly as an item I'm not that excited about them, but I recognize the gym leaders so I'm like I have to get these. So I'll open these up. These are 300 yen each. I think these were 650 or 500. Blind boxes were a little bit more pricey. And then I got some masking tapes and it's hard to see the designs so I'm gonna go get a notebook and we can check out the designs together. Here's the first Poke Neko Dolce design and I just love the pastel colors and this is by the artist Eko Neko and I just love her work, the colors she uses and her style and I was so excited when I found out she was collaborating with Pokemon. So there's actually a whole merch line, but it was all pretty pricey, so I ended up just getting the masking tape. But look at, isn't this so cute? I think these were 600 yen total as a set. Maybe it was a little bit cheaper, but something like that. Here are the other two designs. This one's a little crooked, but don't mind that. It is a darker color. This was from the Wafu series, the Japanese style series, and they had a lot of different ones with very Japanese looking prints and colors and this was the only one that I actually really really liked so I think this one was 600 yen as well for the set and I just love the Pokemon they decided to use the little female the girl Pikachu and I like the ribbons I think yeah this one was called like the ribbon style so yep I got that one and this one I think this one's my favorite though and then while I was in Sendai, I actually went to the Animate there, and I don't have enough to do a whole haul on these, and these will probably just go in my magical blind box, but I got some anime blind boxes, uh, Love Live straps, and I thought the outfits were so cute. I am assuming this is from a music video or song of theirs, but I don't know. Show by Rock. I'm not really into the anime Show by Rock, but I love Choo Choo. I think she is so cute, so I got two Show by Rock. Um... Blind bags, blind boxes, I can't talk. Then I got another Love Live one, and then I got a Non Non Biori one. I'd never seen this before, and I think Non Non Biori is one of the cutest slice of life animes out there. So if you haven't seen it, you should check it out. It's so cute. I want the little doll, the plush one. Anyway, 
I got those. A little unrelated, but anime Pokemon, similar, right? This is actually going to be a separate video because... Look, <laughs> I did the Pokemon Center exclusive Gashapon because they're the Poncho Pikachus. If you follow my Instagram, you may have seen a photo of them, but look. I was trying to get a full set, and I think I got 11, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, and I'm still missing one. So, I need to go back to the one in Tokyo and <laughs> see if I can get it, but look at this. I do want to take a close look at these with you guys, so this will be a future video, but I went a little crazy. That was my random haul from the Pokemon Center, Tohoku. It was a really cute Pokemon Center. It was definitely smaller than the one in Sunshine City, but bigger than the one in Tokyo Station, and those are the two that I usually go to, so it was cool checking out a new place. And, hope you guys will look forward to seeing the blind boxes. I think I'll do a video on just the Pokemon blind boxes, so we can have like a theme going on there, so let me know if you're interested in that, and I'll get it up as soon as possible, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!